Hello, and welcome to Writing and Illustration Children's Picture Books with me, Christian Fox. I'm a children's author illustrator with over 50 children's books in print, and I've been doing this for around 37 years now. And I've made this, this series of courses and free videos available for everybody who's interested in creating a children's picture book of their own. There seems to be very little advice out there, very little professional advice for those who'd actually like to go about this for real. I mean, there's lots of learn to draw courses and uh, creative writing courses, but very little practical information on how to go about creating a children's picture book and with the possibility of approaching a publisher and getting it into print. I have a, a YouTube channel with a series of free videos available um, where I discuss all kinds of subjects to do with children's picture books. Authors and illustrators you should be aware of, uh, reading lists of books again you should be aware of, or, or maybe books that are flying under the radar which didn't necessarily sell well that well in their day but but they're still great children's picture books in their own right. Um, all kinds of free resources for you available. If you've taken a look at the YouTube channel you've gone through all those free resources, you've maybe asked me a few questions and you'd like to go into more detail about creating a children's picture book of your own. I have three course options for you and I'll come back and discuss those in more detail in a few minutes. Now what's really great about uh, being a children's book author or illustrator is that it's a job you can do from home. All, all children's authors and illustrators work from home, they're freelance. Um, so you can you can fit that job around your busy work-life balance. You can hold down another job. You can work at weekends, you can work in evenings, mornings. I've had students work at all times of the day. You might only be able to put an hour a day into it, or you might have longer periods. You can work around children, all kinds of things. I have three children of my own. I work from a, I have a studio at the end of my garden, but I still work from home. I started out in a small bedroom, a lot of people work from the kitchen table. You can easily fit this as a job, as a career, and you can work in your own time. It might take you six days to blast through one of the courses. It might take you six weeks, six months, six years. It doesn't matter. You can work in your own pace at your own time. You can take as long as you like over either finishing the course or finishing a children's book of your own, whether you're writing or illustrating. You might be wondering why I say children's picture books and not just children's books. Children's picture books tend to go from the ages of say three years old up to seven or eight years old and especially if you're an illustrator they're the kinds of things we can see on the shelves behind me. That's where the majority of illustration work is in the in the book industry especially and there's a huge amount of work generally for illustrators. A lot of illustrators don't get much editorial work or anything else, but there is a huge amount of work in the children's picture book industry. So that's 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 why I concentrate on children's picture books. If I made it, I teach children's writing and illustration for all age groups, all levels of children's books up to the kind of teen crossover. But I've concentrated this course on the children's picture book market. If I if I if I tried to encompass all ages. It would be spreading the course very thin. It's much better to sort of concentrate on one area of the industry and give you an awful lot of information on how to do about that. If you decide later that you'd like to experiment with other areas it's very easy to take that knowledge and just expand it outwards. So I concentrate on the children's picture book market specifically. If you're looking to write a children's crossover book you might want to think of doing a, a general creative writing class or maybe take a look at a different kind of writing class. This, this course is specifically aimed at those who'd like to produce either write or illustrate children's picture books for the sort of three years old up to seven, eight year olds. I have quite a, a graphic cartoony style um, and I have a particular way that I like to write, but I don't necessarily teach you to do that. The course is much broader than that. So I like to I like to teach you to identify the illustration and writing skills that you have specifically and then teach you how you can apply those to the kind of books you should be producing. You might have 
If you're an illustrator, you might have a very realist style or an almost photorealist style, or perhaps you produce your work in collage form or photographically. That's fine. I teach you how you can apply that to the children's picture book market. Similarly, if you're a writer, I teach you to take the kind of story writing skills you have and how you can best apply them for your abilities, not the same as the kind of books I produce. The course is, is taught in a series of videos and downloadable transcript and resources notes, and it's, it's very conversational. I try to use as little technical jargon as possible. It's done in a very conversational way, exactly like I'm, I'm, I'm doing this introductory video. It's exactly as if I was teaching a class in a, uh, in a lot of the classroom settings I do, or as if I was giving you a one-to-one -one session in the home studio. I do a lot of those, and the course is presented in exactly the same sort of conversational way. I aim the course at complete beginners, um, but it's it's also suitable for people with more experience. If you have more experience in another area, if you're a journalist or a, a fine artist or a designer or something working in another, another area of the industry, it's also suitable for you. But you can be a complete beginner. I address the course assuming you're a complete beginner, but there's also information as the course goes on that becomes applicable for those who have a little bit more experience. Following on from that, you can take the course as seriously or as lightly as you like. If you, if you, a lot of people just have an intention of treating this subject as a, a fun hobby. They've always wanted to produce a children's picture book of their own, either for their own children or grandchildren, their own other family members, or maybe even just for their own benefit. Other people have the intention of treating this as a career. They would really like to get a book into print, approach a publisher and and go the whole way. Maybe make a career, maybe make a whole series of books. Other people just want to self-publish. However you want to take the course is up to you. I start by assuming you're just out to have as much fun as possible in the subject, but as the course goes on the last lessons deal with the kind of professional area of the industry and how you would present a manuscript to a publisher or how you would present a portfolio if you're an illustrator or how to make a children's book dummy and how to present that to a publisher but you just might want to have a bit of fun you might want to self-publish you might just want to make a handmade book fine the earlier stages of the course deal with it at that level the very last session of the course um, takes things right up to a professional level for those intending a career. So you take it as seriously or as lightly or as fun as you like. Option one is, is the writer's course. For those who are intending to write a children's picture book and have no interest, no experience, no ability, whatever it is, in the illustration side. They just want to be a writer. Now, there, there are many people who treat it at that level. Um, a. A. Mill, who created Winnie the Pooh, um, never did any of the illustrations. He had a collaboration with Ernest Shepherd. Uh, Ernest Shepherd did all the Winnie the Pooh illustrations. A. A. Mill just concentrated on what he was good at, the writing, and he wrote great characters. Similarly, if we take a more contemporary example, Julia Donaldson, is a great children's picture book writer. She has a wonderful way with rhythm and rhyme and standard prose sometimes, and she just concentrates on the writing side, never gets involved in the illustration. I don't know whether these people can illustrate, but what they're good at, what their strength is, is the writing side, and that's what they concentrate on. Now, it's a common misconception with writers especially that they will have to find an illustrator and commission the illustrations for the picture book before submitting it. And that's that's a common misconception, that's just not true. If, you're, if you want a career as a writer, then you should just concentrate on the writing and you can submit manuscripts to a publisher. The publisher will then commission the illustrator and you will have a collaborative process with an illustrator. That's, that's the publisher's job, that's the editor's job to match you with the best illustrator that they think is for your work. So you can have a career just as a pure writer. So that's, that's what the first course option is for those who want to write and not illustrate. The second course option is 
the opposite way around. It's as you would probably expect from the description. It's for illustrators who have no intention, no ambition initially to do the writing side of the book. Um, I went to university to be uh, an illustrator. My course was illustration, animation, graphic design. It was a, it was a combined course. It was very flexible. Um, I, I, I set out as an illustrator of children's books, children's educational books, all kinds of other things, uh, advertising, graphics, with no intention of writing a children's book. That came along later, after five or ten years of, of illustrating other people's texts. I, I had ideas of my own. I, I wanted more control over the whole process. I decided I wanted to illustrate stories I'd also written. There are lots of illustrators in the same boat, but it, it's, it's quite legitimate to have a career as an illustrator and never get involved in the writing side. If we take Axel Scheffler again uh, with uh, Julia Donaldson, he has a very successful collaboration with Julia Donaldson. He's had a, select, uh, a successful collaboration with some other writers. He's on his, uh, I read an interview the other day on, uh, I think it's in the Frequently Asked Questions on his website, where he said, He's only ever written one children's book of his own, and he didn't particularly, I think it was about a, a squirrel, he didn't particularly enjoy the writing side of it. He much prefers to concentrate on the illustration side, and that's, that's perfectly legitimate. A lot of illustrators don't really want to get involved in the writing side. An artist like Quentin Blake, uh, who, had, uh, who went on later to have a, a successful collaboration with Rule Dahl, and that's probably where you know him from, although he's very prolific in other areas as well. He started out as an illustrator for, for Punch magazine. I think his first cartoons were around 1951. He was only 16 years old when he started. Now, he went on for a long time before starting to illustrate children's books. I think his, his first illustrated children's book wasn't until 1965 and then he didn't start writing till around 68, 69, somewhere around that sort of period. So he wanted to gain a lot of experience in the illustration side. He was just a pure illustrator and it was the writing that came along later and then he had the, the successful collaboration with Roald Dahl in the 70s and he's also become a very prolific writer with with books like Clown, Zagazoo, um, other things like that, that he's 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 become a really exceptional writer of children's books as well as an illustrator. But if you want to concentrate on purely the illustration side, you can have a very successful career. The third option is probably again, as you'd expect, is for people who want to have control over the whole process. It's usually illustrators who ha also have story ideas or some story writing ability and they want to do the whole thing. Um, if you take a, uh, an artist like Roger Hargreaves, uh, he started out in advertising. I think he was a, a copywriter and visualizer and came up with the idea for the Mr. Men and his intention was always to create the whole process. He wanted to do the illustrations and the writing. Similarly, Raymond Briggs, and if we take uh, Lauren Child, who um, Raymond Briggs did Fungus the Bogeyman, The Snowman, and uh, Where the Wind Blows, lots of other things. He's, he's very much interested in producing the whole process, just to illustrate the words that he's created. I can't think of an example where he's collaborated with another writer, so he very much likes doing his own process. Lauren Child is the, I think she's still the current children's laureate. She's famous for producing the Charlie and Lola books and the Clarice Bean books. And again, she she wanted to have control over the whole process. She has a surreal writing side, which is a very good match for her almost surreal illustration style. So it's a perfect match. She does illustrate for other writers occasionally. She often illustrates um, well-known fairy tales and 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 other books she's she's illustrated but primarily she's interested in the whole process so the third course option is for people who'd like to write and illustrate it's a combined course for those who'd like to write and illustrate a children's book it's usually illustrators 
who would also like to write. It can also be writers who'd like to illustrate, but obviously that's going to be a lot more unusual. People usually, um, often illustrators would like to write. It's much more unusual for a writer to be able to illustrate, but not, not completely unknown. I have had a few. So the, the third option, the combined course, is for people who'd like to do both. I hope that's answered a lot of your questions in this introductory video and I hope you now understand how the course options work. Have a look at the free resources available on the YouTube channel first. You'll find a lot of inside information, a lot of secrets, tips, tricks, whatever you want to call them about the children's book industry. Subscribe, use the comments section in those YouTube videos, um, ask me about the kind of videos you'd like to make, the kind of subjects I haven't necessarily thought about addressing, ask me any of the things that you would like me to make videos about. If you'd like to go further, then come back to the website, have a look at the various course options and see if there's something there to suit you. And I look forward to seeing you again soon and I hope we can have some fun. Goodbye.